trade with the 64 year old father. Well, I did get a commission this week, so I thought I'd be too tall to say in Japanese, but, but um, Taiki gives seminars too in Jiu Jitsu and Judo. Not in Japanese, even though he could. But he gives them in Judo and Jiu Jitsu, but he's not a big guy like me. He's not an athlete like most. So he did something pretty smart. He asked a friend to uh, show up so he could have a friendly face. But that's the same for you. We're not really in the exact same He wanted a friendly face in the crowd. Just one guy in a big crowd, right? Well, he asked a friend, well, it just so happened that the friend, two times old, went over to the truth. He fought Horace Gracie twice and didn't lose. Okay, if you fight Gracie and survive, you're pretty bad. He fought twice and tied once and beat him once. And that guy did something really unique when he went to Taiki Seminar. He wore a white belt. He had none of his medals. And other than his cauliflower ear, you would not know that he was a champion of that kind of And I'm asking all of you to symbolically and, and metaphorically put on a white belt because I know that I, I am standing in front of some black belts here, okay? And they're either black belts in martial art or they're black belts in physical training or in competing in weight events. I know, I mean, I don't know all your stories, but those that I do, I'm honored that you're here. Coming from Oakland, California, coming from Ontario, Ontario, Canada, Quebec, Quebec, okay? Um, and some coming from Pennsylvania, okay? I'm honored that you're here. Thank you for coming here from Quebec. I will give you benefit of 12 years of base experience. I might say there's nobody else in America who gave you 12 years of base experience. Okay. Here they all have their business to try it out as a different if you're going out and seeing face uh, limitations. You saw that post on the internet. You went to one base class and now you're teaching a sir? Yeah, I know that. Okay. Long story by then. So what I want to ask you, put on my own. Do not try to impress me. You already impressed me by being here. You didn't have stigma. I can't live with that ribeye, okay? But don't try to impress me. Well, he's 22, he can't impress me, he's too young. <laughs> but he is kind of young. No, I mean, you impress me by being here. Don't try to impress me with being strong. I know some of you guys are stronger than just one stronger than this guy's much stronger than me. That doesn't bother me, okay? I'm going to teach you a few skills, and if you master them, Incidentally, all my nine grandchildren from kindergarten to college and every age in between, they think I'm the strongest man in the world. Part of the secret, okay? Okay. Uh, I was in a magazine, I came to, to the kindergarten, I took it to school, I went to the pick them up, and next day they all woke up, and they picked up all the kids. <laughs> I tell 40 jokes too. But I would like all of you to get a base in the air on the side of the If you have no good advice, stop right now. So they tell me, if you have questions, ask questions at any time. I am so hard of hearing, so you have to say anything about it. Okay. That's Daniel. Do we have another Daniel here? Yeah. Good Daniel from North Carolina. Okay. Okay. I need people to have a base in a bag. Big circle around you. You need, you need at least arm slang or at least base slang in between. You have a base, you have a light one. Light. Is there any chalk? I got some like Yes. Okay. Yeah. Trying to remember names. Alexander. Yeah. They're just trying to remember names. Yeah. Sorry. Bill. Bill. Steph. Yeah. Al. Uh, Van.
I sent home to my wife and said, honey, you're going to see a lot of videos or films of me in this gorgeous woman. She's just an interpreter. My dear wife loves you so much, Sam. I'm not worried at all. You can be here if you try. It's you know, it's not that I try. I need mean, to stop. No, it's not But incidentally, I, um, I went to a pizza restaurant. Who put it down? I didn't say stop. Oh, you're going to learn. Repetition is very important. We went to a restaurant. If you pick it up, 
Go here. Separate your legs a little bit. Drop down. Come back up. You see, it's more difficult with an attic space. So. So. Come up. Between the legs. Outside the legs. Between the legs. Outside the legs. Figure eight.
maybe come here today, right? Thank you. I can't speak for Daniel. I don't know about him, but I know about me. You come to California, you train with me for free. Okay? You come to California, you train with me for free. People do that. People do, who don't come to these things pay a lot of money to train with me. Okay? But you aren't paid. I don't want you to get ready. Okay? I've come out with a book of choice. Okay? I told you I said, you know, that you're wired for a plan. Hey, you Yeah. Okay. You run out of my face and I don't? I think it was I got now I do. I got it. It's free. I got it. It's free. I'll send it to you guys all. But it's kind of, you know, it's kind of old without me. Okay. Where's Jeff? He's wiped out. Wow. Wow. I'll lift just, just my ass with you guys. Oh man, the car did water. He had six water on his car. Bastardized it. Well, he was from the UK. That's, that's the way he pronounced it, yeah. He wrote about it in an article. I can't. I sent it to him. But he said the only way to use a mace is to take it to 360. Because that's all we've got originally. We talked about basketball. Do you know basketball was originally a huge basket up against the wall? Okay, you want to come back to that? This is like a little bam right over the wall. You can see the brownies, I can do big jumps. Okay, whatever side you were doing, flip hands go to the other side. <coughs> Very good. Very good. You're going to get so strong that will. <laughs> okay? You guys are going to get good at this. And this is just the introductory stuff. Hands close together, John, because I know you're strong. No, 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 no. When I say hands close together, this guy stays here. Oh, incidentally, incidentally, guys, ladies, I mean, I will never touch you during the course of this event. I'm a very jealous wife. Praise to the Lord of the Bible. I don't know the Lord of the Bible. Yeah, that's what we can say. So I never touch a female. Okay, I can't. Okay, but a guy, I'm going to move around in the position I need to. So, and I'm saying that to you, because I want you to know that if a guy, I just do what he's trying to do. It's inappropriate. We live in this society. You guys won't run this off the side of the He doesn't touch me either. Okay, you guys can talk me. And I don't. But a guy, especially a tough guy, I can move around. No problem. There's no need for me to touch you. If you need to be moved, I will have a female do it. Relax and do it. I'm not going to touch my daughters and granddaughters. Okay? Now you're going to make me my money. Swans got to go. Swans Kids are good when we put videos out because they won't try to fake you out. We'll just turn it. Uh, you look lean, yes, you look terrible. Okay, one hand all the way to the end. All the way to the end. You got to put that, in, that right hand close to the center of the face. Press away, David, press away. Okay. Oh, man. Right? Step, 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 stop. Step forward, step. You should know that. What's the problem with it? Always. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
okay, so we're now going to transition from the leather press to the press that I named after my good friend of Southern Fried Strike Friend and David Listen, What's the name of the press? Do you remember? What is David? David. He's a redneck, so we're going to do the redneck press. He's proud of the title. Hold the legs like this. Very close to you. Lay it, lay it softly against your back. Now I'm going to introduce this curl of your arms. Curl of your feet. Press. One hand push, one hand hold. Okay? And if you go too fast, you're going to call the limit press. Okay? This is a great move. Develops again that strength that you use when two hands are holding on to a B. And then after you've done the desired time, number of repetitions, switch the position of your hands and your trapezius, and go the other way. It's not all about strength, it's control. Hands closer together, thick, harder. Look at this, you guys got arms like iron. Big fresh dresses. I like that. Oh man, good job. So man, I'm so proud of this guy. Max, we can go back to the point of Max. Go for it. Control. Do one more. Lower, slow. Now switch the position of your hands. That means one hand goes down, next one hand goes down. It's like an interpreting for you too. He's going to take a swing at me before he takes it. Put it on the other track and go for it. And if you guys want to take a swing at me, just go to the job. Right here. Right, that's a what? I have a question. Do you have a question? I take questions on Thursday on the Tuesday. Um, do you know a list of things exercises? Because last time we were doing a semi the last time I didn't write them all down. Got them all written down there.
can show you how to get enough strength to lift a 50, to swing a 50 pound base in about 3 to 4 months. And the women, I can show you how to get enough strength to do about a 25 or 30 pound base in about 3 to 4 months. Your muscles can do that. But it's more than muscles that lift the base. He's got big muscles, but tendons take longer. I took eight years before I started going heavier. You don't have to wait that long, but I'm asking you. In the jungle strength and condition, and it's a jungle jungle, see them on single weeks slowly. If you chase after them, injuries will chase after you and they will sense. They need to do everything right. If you want a 50 year career in, in the iron game, you're going to be injured. Show me anyone that you know who shows as long as you have it, doesn't it? That isn't helping get the right strategies. You're going to get injured. This is mitigating and minimizing. Very good. Very good. You're going to do it again. Show the class. Show the class. Now, here's your band. Show the band. Very good. This hand is control. This is the working hand. Put them down. Everybody rest. Everybody sweat. Everybody rest. Basically stands up. Stand a foot and a half behind it. Get your breath. Center yourself. Say your prayers, do whatever. Put one foot forward and one foot back, about 18 inches apart. Make sure they're really short. We're making about 12 inches. Okay? It doesn't matter which one's which. But if your right foot is back, like mine is, grab the very end of the base. Handle with your right hand. <clears throat> the crucial part is that your forward hand and forward foot grabs the middle of the base handle. Not here because it'll be too damn hard. Excuse me, I like which names. And not here because it's ineffective. Middle of the handle. From there, remember your knees are both bent, your hips are bent, you're leaning forward. As soon as you pick the head of the base off the floor, come back with it. Go up to where that middle arm is. That middle arm is straight, just like Alexander's. Yes, Alexander, perfect. Straight. The base is behind the middle wall. Okay, hold up your stuff. Right in the middle, right, right. In the middle there. Right in the middle, in the middle. Perfect, perfect. No. Lock out that left, left. Lock it out like Alexander's. Locked, locked. Now you won't see the proper move. His is pointing straight up, his is pointing back. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. That will depend on your, your frame. The only thing that does matter is I want this arm locked. This arm, this, this hand can really bite you. Yeah, perfect. Perfect game. Okay? Some of you people, it looks like most of this room has a straight arm, right? Torx. That's okay. John's got a straight back, that's fine too. It just depends on how you're built. That's not important. What's important is that this stays locked. Now from there, come back down. As you come back down, do like a little tiny squat. Lean forward. Bend your left elbow, huh? And when you get it, bend it, it's just coming in. And Get a big shovel full of dirt, or you meet these people so. I'm from California, we have to drive for three hours to get snow. Okay. <clears throat> Throw the snow and the dirt behind you. That's why we call this the Great Figure. This is a cardiovascular move. Um, Daniel Ramsey, do you have a timer? Did you set it? To beep every 30 seconds? We're going to go 30 seconds on, and no, we're not going to go 30 seconds on. We're going to go 30 seconds on, and then you're going to switch the position of your hands and your feet and go to the other side. Now we'll go 30 seconds both sides, then you'll get 30 seconds of rest. We'll do that twice, and then you'll get rest. Go, Daniel, start us. Go. Go. 30 seconds. Tell me what it's. Three, two, one. Go that dirt behind you, guys. Go. Perfect, Will. Grab, Eric, Dana, Scott, Greer, John, Corey, Bill, Steph, Three, Daniel. Two, one. Okay, switch the position of your feet and your hands. Switch the position. 
position. Let's go. You only got 30 seconds. Go. Okay. 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 More towards the middle. More towards the middle of the head. Now with this 
staggered stance. Bring that left foot forward a more. I don't want to be able to see the writing on your shirt. I want it like a fighter's stance. All I can see is your shoulder. That's crucial. If you do it like this, no good. And I will have to correct all of it because it's just, just too hard. This is hard, guys. Okay, this is the college level stuff. Middle of the handle, if it feels too heavy, don't be afraid to choke up like this. Okay? Yeah. Just like that H2H, you let it swing. Here's the, here's the thing. You know the smartest guy in the room I can tell right now is Alexander. You don't need to have this picked up because he wants to see me do it first. Very smart, baby. Very smart. Okay. Because this is complex. Now, this is going to go around the front of me. Very crucial that this thing is pointing down the whole way. It's going to go in front of me and Pointing down. Do not bring it up. Which is what everybody does. Whoa! Let's see from the side of it. Down. Okay. Stephanie's right in front of me. She shouldn't be able to see my belly button or my chest. If it said on it right here, she shouldn't see it. She should say this to me. But, but she should just see my shoulder. And this is going to come as it comes forward. Curl your shoulders like Emily's doing. Curl them. The reason you curl them, all you, all you, all you guys have big shoulders. This has got to go around your shoulders. Let's make it as easy as possible. Let's make it as easy as possible. Don't try to throw off your big broad shoulders. You're just going to make yourself work harder. So curl it. Curl it and bring it around. From here, with the forward. Forward. Not out there. That's why we call this the bull bridge. If this, some of you, the ladies pick this one up quicker. Maybe they got really experience. I don't want to know. But, but, this is a rigid stiff steel piece, but if it was leather, I would do it just like this. The bull bridge. I promise you. Oh, you want to see more? Now, if you're only doing a few repetitions, you can stand up right and be proud. Let me see you do it first. I'll give you, the, I'll give you the, a hack in a minute. Right. 
It's too stressful. Right, Jennifer, what you do, here's the hat. It's a completely good, cool cheat. Watch this cheat. Okay. When it comes here, boom. Go bend down, lean forward. When you do it, it will take all the stress off there. Also, I'm not trying to be. This is an intense control. This time around, you're going off the bridge. What's your name, Victor? Bob. Bob. Let me see, let me see. Okay, Bob, what would you change about this move? What's he doing wrong? Is he doing something wrong? It's just going out into the front. He's not being a. He's not sideways. What's wrong with the base? Keep going, Bob. He's being out in front of himself. Yes! You guys are taking this fast forward to the teach. Okay, but the moment I'm going to teach you is you're going to learn that qualifies to teach make spaces safely. Perfect, except 
said it's right about there, you're about here. Yeah. yeah.
but some chick in Texas whose name was Liberty and she was a trainer. When I talked to you, that's a chance to rest, to get down here. And I talk a lot because they don't let me at all. They certainly don't pay me this. But, um, so I was Liberty Fitness, right? I had a cool logo, the Statue of Liberty, the woman who came about me. So she had a few things, and some great Liberty something. She was Liberty Fitness. Her lawyer sent me the cease and desist letter. And I want to be Liberty Fitness, but I'm about to So, okay, I'm going to be straight training. And I still got two videos out like that. Then, this is like 2007, 2008, she learned about kettlebells. Oh, how cool. I want to learn kettlebells. And so she's, because her name is Lindsay, she got this idea of a Statue of Liberty holding a kettlebell. Uh, now it was my turn to be a season. Which I did, and she got to talk against her. Lawyers, lawyers are important in this world. And you know, people talk to me about, and there is a segment in the U.S. here, uh, who's from North Carolina? You. This is the Carolina guy. He's a great guy, but he's like, no, they, and the Australian guy, they say, no, a man should only be made of wood, it should only be made of wood, wood has spirit, so comes to the ground. Steel comes to the ground, right, too. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, people get hung up on this in this game. People get hung up on, on you know, these. But people say that, you know, you've got to have wood. Well, I'm, I'm a professional, I travel, and I teach, and I can't get my insurance company to uh, cover me when it's wood, because wood breaks. If this breaks, you don't sue me, we're gonna sue whoever made the product, okay? Or incline or whatever. So, if you wanna use um, wood on your own, it does feel a little different, right? Have wood, I like the feel of it. Go, go at it, but if you're a professional, I'm assuming that many of you are here, and if you teach others, sit and steal, okay? If you're a pilot, fly a steel plane. And then another thing, I'll allow me to run. Grass, but in, in this movement, you know, this is called what? What is it called? The legs. Yes! A lot of people call it steel legs. I got a steel car and I sat in a steel legs. And I told her, no, she said, you've never done that Scratch your back. I'm very impressed with that. I'll tell you. 
this little thing here, and he's ripping it. And he is ripping it. And Daniel, if he's not here, but if I play a little with the 15 pound race, it's ripping me. Okay? Safety. The way to be safe, where's that little race? Right there. I know. Here's how you train this. be really good. You either stand like I did close to Brad, get your class to stand by you, but you know, you have to be careful. Or, I'm not going to hit the wall, whether I'm doing it with a club um, or a long base, because I need that narrow corridor. If I play them, boom! If you watch the videos of me in Australia, I stood next to one of those roll up doors, and I had the guy do it. Boom! He said, Tell me, fix it. That's how you lived for 20 years without getting hurt. In that narrow corridor, I can have a lot to say about that when we get into the 10 to 2 and the 360. But best learn it now. Show us again one more time. So you people in the group, you guys in the flail group, okay? You flail and you're me. <laughs> if you flail, you always fail. Thank you. Look at that. And you know the way he does it? That's a considerable weight there. Go ahead and use momentum. Throw it out. You cast it, cast it. Guy gave you flowers and you don't like it. Yeah! Oh my god. Okay?
If you're tired of breath, that's it. If you fixed your flail, but you didn't really smoke because you used a lot of muscle. You didn't have to use that muscle, you just used momentum. Throw it out there. Please do this again. Incidentally, guys and ladies, this is the hardest thing to teach with the mace. This right here. So if you get this, you're in the top of the class. And it's all down the class. Because even when I go into the traditional stuff, it's all down the But the fucking sandwich puts into the wall and not me. So you left hand, right hand, and you're doing the left, that's how you bad, and you're doing it well. Yes! This is what I'm going to judge you on. This is what I'm going to judge you on. This is what I'm going to judge you on. 
that I want you to be absolutely perfect at this. The way she corrected this loss and stopped flailing, you cannot flail when we teach you to tend to. We'll have to stand very close to the wall. Tend to. Imagine that I'm standing in front of a giant clock, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and everywhere in between, right? Remember those positions. You guys all have watches and clocks. So you're pretty good. If I tell you this is 12, you know what this guy is. You can Okay. So, if the base is down here at 6 o'clock, I'd like you to hold the base like this. I guess we would call this 6, or 6 30. With a fairly wide base, this kind of hole. It does not matter which hand. Not on the bottom. I would like you not to choke up with the face all the way at the very end if yes, you can. You can because if you grip it all the way at the very end, you will feel the full force of this whole hand just far. I'm standing in front of a clock. The head of the face is six o'clock, right? Not with the strength of our arms, but with the movement of our hips. Let's go five o'clock, seven o'clock. Five o'clock, seven o'clock. Let me get this way. Five o'clock, seven o'clock. Guys are all tight in there, so don't want to move their heads. Okay? And that's it, you've got a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, which is empty grips, right? So, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys get this way. Come and get this quick because they know, guys, we're all looking for my product. And I'm the worst at that, so. If I got it, you can get it. Okay, let me see, Emily, let me see. Perfect, Emily. Keep going. Believe me, this is easy. You shouldn't be tired from this. All that other stuff you do, you should kick your butt, but this is easy money. Emily's arms are in a 7 or an L position. Max's arms are in a V position. Be like Max. Perfect. If you have your arms in this position, which some of you guys are big biceps, it's going to be that way. Okay, but the closer you can get to this, the less of your big strong biceps you're using. Well, gee, if I'm not using my big strong biceps, what am I going to move with? All right, your hips are a lot stronger. Okay, ask anyone who throws a punch. If you throw a punch to your upper body, it won't be strong. If you put your hip into it, it will be strong. Put your hip into this muscle right here. Boom. Okay, now notice Dan Feynman is not doing 5 to 7. He's going a little more. He's going like 4 to 8. All you guys know, 4 to 8, 4 to 8. Bob, we'll do any of the rest of you guys. 40 feet. Be courageous. Inch it towards 3 to 9. Inch it towards 3 to 9. Step away from somebody. 3 to 9. Good step. Very good step. Step step to your heels. Does it matter? No. People ask me all the time, I just want to heal the man. Shut up. Okay? From 3 to 9.
12. Who feels great to stuff? So then we go down and go all the way for two times. Very good. She choked up. I like that. Okay. Now, she wants to see one of my videos. He didn't. Now is what is important. That whatever head is on top, you go over the opposite shoulder. Okay. Now, let's bring it down. Let's see that. And because, it feels like keto in here. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, if, if you go over the same shoulder, it's kind of like that keto in this lot, which they do like this. They like three. So, I don't want you to go over this shoulder at first. After you've been doing this a couple months, it won't matter. Um, what's up? 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 What's up?
You're wasting your, your energy. You don't have to do 300 reps like this and 300 reps. Just pick one and get good at it. I promise you, the way you tie your shoes, you don't switch it to one hand. Tie your shoes. Who in here is right handed? Who brushes their teeth in their back hand? We don't. But for equal development, though, you really should switch hands. Why don't you go one hundred and sixty out the two fifty three Saturday right? And then we do a third second on the second on the Somebody is going to take swinging for the day's home. 